Hello everybody. Been a while since I did a video. Not one and a half week, not so long, but I hadn't had the time this weekend, so I thought I could do a shave today. Just loading up this Dickens Russian leather with my brush, ML brush, synthetic knot. And I'm gonna finish with American crew. Off the chase, splash, whatever you call it. <laughs> um, I'm just loading the brush and just put in the face. As you can see, I have some irritation here. I don't know why. A little bit here. The shade with the um, uh, Gillette Super Speed with, with the Wascot blade yesterday felt great. No problems. I didn't feel anything today. Or felt anything today, but suddenly I realized I got some irritation here. I don't know if it's because of the shave yesterday or something else. I don't know. But that's nothing I don't I don't know why. <laughs> uh and you're gonna see the knife or the razor I'm gonna use. Straight razor today. My favorite straight razor. And if you follow my channel, you know what my favorite straight razor is. It's a um, Swedish straight razor. A Swedish straight razor. Sorry if I mumble, but. I tried to lather at the same time and speak at the same time and when I got my brush in my mouth or around my mouth it's difficult to speak or pronunciate the words but that's it's just a bad excuse because I have always difficult to pronounce the words I say that's that. Really nice leather. I just love this scent very much. And um, oh, I my towel as usual. <coughs> yeah, I like this scent really much. My razor, as you all know, this is the CV Hellestan MK number 31. Uh, it's a 5 8 razor. Uh, with this nice thumb grip here uh, and um, not rounded but not square pot either uh, hollow grind razor uh, Avery Scholars my absolute best razor this razor I have just received today not received I actually it's my, a friend of mine that's trying with straight razors you remember the last video where I used that uh, black straight razor uh, I honed up for a friend of mine. Meanwhile, I uh, borrowed his borrowed him this straight razor, and uh, he said it's sharp. <laughs> Dear friend of mine, his name is Patrick. Talked about the uh, straight tracer this summer. I shaved his, shaved him a couple of times uh, last summer, on two summers ago when I started, and now he started to use straight tracers. We bought a straight razor. I shared with it a couple of times. And then he said, it's not sharp. I just told him, give it to me. And I will try to own it up. And I have to work with that 
weight plays quite a bit. And I I can use it, it works for me. I hope it works for Patrick too. He's not a beginner with straight racers. I think he's done four, maybe five straight racer shades in his life. So I hope it works for him. Um, he borrowed this racer and I said, I have taken it very easy when I'm stopping it and I hope I have it ruined in the edge. The HV is great. I can't feel any difficulties with it. So you haven't ruined my blade, Patrick. And if it would be dull, I just would put it on the stones again and hold it up again so there is no problem. So if we if I had a technique with stropping or so. Still sharp, but I can feel this in this pass. That it's not as sharp as it was when he got it. And I understand him, it's difficult to stop in the beginning. But as you can see, it shades. So I'm going to put this on the stones and just do a quick refreshing. What to call it is. Yeah, yeah, I will refresh this edge a little bit. A quick touch up or whatever you call it. In my opinion, if you have a straight razor and you roll the blade, you don't damage the blade. That's no big issues. Just Hone it and refresh the edge and you got it back to the original shape. And but if you do something else on these uh, edges, you nick them on, bang them on the faucet or whatever you do, then you're going to ruin the edge and you have to do a lot, much, much more work on it. Uh, so if you roll the edge, it takes it's a quick fix to get it back again as a working straight razor. So I don't care so much if it just rolled edge a little bit. I just want to show Patrick that the edge is working fine. Small, small, small cut. Uh, one of the pimples or the irritation I got. I think I cut the head off. <laughs> I don't know why. It's strange. And I think it's really fun when my friends are trying out straight dressy shaves or the straight shaves, doesn't matter. But Patrick, he hooked all of this razor, he's starting to use his straight razors. Uh, he's straight race, I'm just gonna get the olive lock. 
and uh, my work colleague, I'm just going to rinse. I'm rinsing cold water. Taking this on a block. Yeah, my colleague at work. Same thing. Borrowed two straight razors from me. Still using them. He borrowed a brush from me. Borrowed some soaps. And I think next year I can't get these things back because he's talking about straight razor shades. I want to buy some new straight razors and so on. And I think it's really fun. I think it's really fun when I got people to start using straight razor shave um, or the erasers to shave with and use these just using the brush while I'm waiting for the all to work a bit. Yeah, I like when I got friends of mine that will want to start to try some straight razors or de razors or whatever it is and using this traditional wet shaving technique. I think it's really fun and if I can contribute by lending my straight razors to people and lending my brushes to people and they enjoy it and they get some different soaps they can try out and they just think it's fun. Patrick had told me that he had difficulties to get a nice ladder with his soap. I'm just going to quick rinse. And uh, took my sterling agar and showed him how I do it. Of course he had looked at my videos several times, but it's another thing to actually stand a half meter from me and look what I'm doing and I can talk about the ratio of water you can add and how it's get different in the face when you use it and how much you can work with it and how much water it can take and hold on so what and he was saying several times that soap doesn't react or act like the soap the sterling soap that I showed him and he doesn't know what kind of soap brand he has it's Probably some cheaper one, but I gave him <coughs> this uh, Sterling Agar, gave him um, Palamalia stick and uh, Race Rock uh, Lime scented I got, and gave him these three so soaps so he can try out and see how they work. And uh, I hopefully he's gonna do a shave today, and uh, hopefully he's gonna like, uh, he's gonna use this Sterling Agar. I hope he's gonna get a better ladder with that, and I know he's gonna get a better ladder because Sterling soaps is always a nice ladder for me at least, and he lives two minutes from here, so we got the same water and everything, so there should be no problem. We're using the same brush, the synthetic brush, and I don't know that it would be no problem at all. Uh, then he's gonna use a glacials, uh, uh, this shape splash glacial and he's gonna get cold. <laughs> I gave him some uh, hints that go outside when you take it on, after you take it on, and I don't think he's gonna do it because it's damn cold. And these glacial things are really, really cold. If you get a ventilated soap, it's cold, but the glacial is even colder. Now I'm mumbling too much again. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, I thought I could do a quick shave and as usual, 50 minutes, 40 minutes right now, but we are not finished yet. This is the beauty of today. Patrick, you have no problem, I'm going to take it. I'm just going to lay it on the stairs a little bit and fresh up a little bit. I just told him that there was no issues with the edge. Um, but I'm going to put it on the stones and get a really nice edge, better edge on it than in, what in it's got right now. And that's the best razor in the world, in my opinion. Of course, my beautiful Emerald Shaving and Supplies brush. This beautiful Vicam, sorry, Vicam soap. Russian leather descent, oh, in my opinion, oh, it's absolutely marvelous. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> and this beautiful American uh, revitalizing toner, uh, American crew, really nice, uh, in my opinion, it works really nice for me. 
So thank you for watching everybody and hope you're gonna have a beautiful, beautiful uh, week. And uh, sorry I haven't looked at any videos, I haven't had the time and I'm probably not gonna have the time to look at these all the videos you all guys have put out. And uh, sorry about that, but we shall see you next time, whatever it is. Bye bye and have a great week. See you.